I am Dr. Robert Pinnell, founder and CEO of Chiropractic Hand and Foot Clinics of America, and I am very passionate about teaching chiropractors how to become extraordinarily proficient at adjusting the hands, feet, and other extremity joints. I found that chiropractors, by and large, are mostly spinal focused in their practices, which is great, but there's so many patients that can be helped through extremity adjusting. And in many cases, chiropractors tend to minor on the extremity side of care in their practice. So my goal is to help chiropractors take a larger focus and practice emphasis on extremity adjusting with a strong focus on hands and feet because there's so many patients out there in the communities of America that are suffering needlessly with hand and foot problems and they've never once considered going to a chiropractor. Well, whenever you become known for what you can do for patients' hands and feet through adjusting the tiny bones and joints in both of those areas, you'll have an abundance of patients come and find you and you'll start attracting those patients to your practice. So don't miss these workshops coming up. We look forward to having you there and you're gonna have an awesome weekend and learn a lot of great hands-on adjusting skills. In fact, uh, let me show you just a short clip of some of the types of adjustments you'll learn how to do when you attend either of those workshops. For the scaphoid, we're going to contact the mid-waist of the scaphoid. We're going to palpate where the fixation pattern is. It's a forward roll thrust with four specific stabilization points using dynamic stabilization as we roll forward and laterally to correct the scaphoid subluxation. The lunate misaligns in a volar flexed mount position. You're going to contact using a staggered finger contact on the volar surface of the wrist your contact in the anterior superior pole of the lunate as you stabilize the dorsal inferior pole of the lunate and you apply the thrust using the staggered finger contact and there is no dynamic stabilization when adjusting the lunate. Capitate. We're going to glide the tendon out of the way as we contact the dorsum of the capitate. We have a four point stabilization underneath. Now on this one, with the capitate, we're not using the forward roll thrust, we use the backward roll thrust to do the capitate correction. We adjust the calcaneus two different ways. One is for a standard foot and flat foot. One is for a pes cavus or high rigid arch foot. And by adjusting the calcaneus, you effectively release the subtalar joint, depending on the arch structure of the patient will determine your contact, your contact point, and the type of torque or rotation you use during the thrust. In other words, we change the line of correction with a high rigid supinated foot compared to a pes planus flat foot. So you learn how to effectively adjust the glenohumeral joint. As well as the scapula thoracic articulation. Wasn't that amazing? How would you like to learn how to adjust the extremity areas of the body like that? You can learn to adjust the wrist with ease and efficiency, moving the carpals through a biomechanically correct range of motion, a pain-free, comfortable adjustment for your patients, and loud audible releases when you perform the adjustment. The glenohumeral joint adjustment is, is very efficient. It's easy to perform once you learn the set up and biomechanics involved. The patients love having their glenohumeral joint adjusted when you use the techniques that we're gonna show you on these upcoming events. And one thing I didn't show you in that little video clip was the scapula thoracic articulation. When we evaluate shoulder conditions, the scapula thoracic articulation is by far the number one most important joint to manage and adjust. If you simply adjust the glenohumeral joint, as we just showed in that video clip, uh, of course, you're going to help the patient, but you're going to find their shoulder problem will keep returning. It's not going to be a long-term correction. However, when you start with the scapula thoracic articulation, we're going to get magnificent changes in the biomechanical function of the shoulder with that articulation adjustment alone. Then the glenohumeral joint adjustment is just icing on the cake to finish the job and get the patient's range of motion back to normal and feeling great and functioning great. We're also going to cover some of the most common biomechanical misalignment patterns in the feet that cause patients a great deal of foot dysfunction and pain, and you can help these patients very effectively and efficiently with the adjusting styles and techniques you're going to learn. We're going to focus on the hind foot with talotibial and septalar joint. We're also going to cover the midfoot and forefoot. 
So this is going to be an information-packed weekend. You're going to love it. If you enjoy adjusting the extremities, you'll really be excited when you learn all these great new hands-on techniques. So go ahead and click the button, and you'll be directed to a web page where you can register for the event. And I look forward to having you there at our upcoming workshop. Thank you.